Now, adding metadata to one image at a time is tedious, not to mention time consuming. So there is a quicker way and we can go to file and open up Adobe Bridge by using browsing bridge. It takes me back to my last view and we uh, can see here the working folder that's on my desktop and the document here, you'll see that we've been working on, we get a preview and then in the metadata section on the lower right hand side, you'll see here, creator Gary Bradley. And then scrolling down here, we have the copyright notice and then the, the uh, copyright status. So if I wanted to click on a different image, say the one next to it, and then go to tools, you can choose to create your own metadata template. You can choose to edit one and notice that Creative Frontiers is in there. But if I choose to append, as we did in Photoshop, Creative Frontiers, now it's been updated. And if I just drag this back up here, you'll see that we have the copyright information in there and the creator name as well. So if I click on this image here, note the creation date and the modified date. If I go to tools and choose replace metadata and then pick Creative Frontiers, my Creative Frontiers metadata is going to remove the existing one. And you'll see here that the creation date has now been changed to the date when our cycling tour image was made, not when that photograph was taken. So that key information of creation date, that core, we want to try and keep intact in all our images. We don't want that replacing. So uh, that's why we choose to append metadata information. But if I click on this first file and then shift and left click on the last one in the folder, it will highlight all the thumbnails. I can then go to tools, append metadata and choose Creative Frontiers. And if I click on that now, you'll notice that I have that metadata information attached to this file. So that's how you could, in a sense, apply metadata to multiple files at the same time.